I am a English and American literature student, and uh, really, you have a feeling about that? Who has an opinion on that? I uh, actually have to. Uh, I, um, I like it because uh, I like the way Americans speak. I like the way they use words. Pedophile, it's better. Pedophile sounds a lot nicer. Pedophile gives away their optimism for a starter. It's creative too. Pedophile sounds like okay, he touches kids. He's also a really keen cyclist. <laughs> I, uh, so I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I've, uh, the only material I've been writing is about uh, how I've always subconsciously expressed the desire to be a superhero. And I'm, I'm pretty serious about this. I realise that other comedians have already, you know, not naming names, but they've talked about a superhero thing. They'll be like, oh, a superpower, Jim. Hey, if you can have a superpower, any, any superpower, what would it be? I don't know. China? I'm thinking about this. I'm trying to express a feeling. Okay. And I'm pretty, I am, in a weird way, I am not serious. Like, I do think I could do it. Like, I feel like I've got a good enough moral compass for it. And if somebody brutally murdered both my parents in front of me, I'd have the motivation and the funding sorted. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not an idiot. I know I'm not going to get sick of that. So it's not going to happen. I mean, I can still get in a chemical accident, though. I've been in two in my life so far. The first one, right, I was about five years old. My mum's Chanel number five, and I fundamentally changed the atmosphere in the holiday cottage. Didn't get superpowers, but I've got an incredibly vivid memory of my dad having to wash out my eyes. And uh, the second time was the first time I ever took ecstasy. This is actually quite a while ago, and I'd got a methadone when that came out, like all the cool kids. But when I took that, I was really aware I was on drugs, so I was like, oh my god! And then I took ecstasy, and it completely caught me by surprise, and I just didn't feel it, so I was just like, no, oh, no, 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 this is amazing! I ended up taking six. Yeah, wouldn't recommend it to be honest. Uh, I think it took this part, it's probably two and a half feet come down. But I was having waking nightmares about getting raped in the First World War trench. <laughs> that, that's all I got out of private school education, is my hallucinations that were horribly detailed and historically accurate. <laughs> but um, it's, it's weird, like, I pulled through my life and I looked at my teenagers, it's not just about it, it's about like, having problems growing up. Like, I found it hard to find opportunities to grow up, but, and, and I know I'm not perfect, I'm no angel. I know you think, oh, he's pretty safe, look at him, incredibly, but no, he's not friendly. But I've done some mad shit. When I was 16, I stole six military fur trees. <laughs> 